Scorpio. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 30th of October to the 5th of November 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Scorpio. So starting spirit animal oracle, you get number 52, scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you, pretty electrifying, creating that magic that comes from within, number 15, cow spirit, the miracles are endless, brilliant to have these two together, the magic does work through you and your miracles, they are endless. Love those, Scorpio. So, let us begin. It's like dream extravagantly with those miracles. So, 30th of October to 5th of November 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Scorpio. Ooh, start there, they nearly all fell out. Ooh, look at all your arcanas. Overall, Seven of Pentacles, putting in the hard work here to get things to progress, to get things to grow. The magic works through you, but so does the hard work. Monday, love this, start of the week, the Empress. The miracles are endless, but your gut instinct, your heart, you know um, what each stage entails, what you're needing to do, what work you're needing to put in to get this part settled before going into this next stage. Every time you put the hard work in, you sort something out. I do say five more things pop out of place and it is that constant hard work. But ultimately, your gut instinct, you know what needs to be done next and achieving that and then so on. Tuesday, the Hierophant here may have connection to a Taurus. Some peer pressure being put on you to do things a certain way. And I feel like you're starting to speak up here. You're digging your heels in. You're not going, I'm going to say, you're not going to put up with someone else's crap. This is about following your gut instinct, following your beliefs. Those miracles, they are endless. The magic, it works through you. Um, you know, your magic works through you it doesn't work through somebody else and likewise the hard work but you're digging your heels in here and doing things your way love that wednesday the the moon i nearly said the pisces <laughs> the moon but can have connection to a pisces um when things are a bit darker and gray that moon is giving you all the clarity to see very clearly what part of the job needs to be taken care of next. I always say legally and morally, but um, when things aren't so clear, that moon is giving you all the clarity to allow those miracles to stay endless, but also to allow that magic to keep working. Thursday, Ace of Cups, new chapter, when it comes to love. And I always say maybe a love love, it may be a job you love, it may be a home you love. Could be a pregnancy, a birth, marriage proposal, moving in together, it may be meeting somebody brand new. The hard work though, and that magic, and those miracles, it all starts with that first step there. Friday, Queen of Cups, an emotional journey that you have been through, but now you're, I'm going to say, sitting pretty um, on this platform. Very solid, emotionally solid here, no matter how much hard work it takes. It may still be a bit rocky out here. I keep going to do that, and then something else comes out. Um, <laughs> bit rocky out here still, but you are sitting solid right here. Love that. Saturday, Nine of Swords, some overthinking of things, some stress that sneaks in, um, the sleepless nights, feel like this is the hard work you're putting in and you feel like at times things just aren't getting anywhere and this is just allowing yourself time to take that step back, let that moon give you that clarity to see that there is a flow on process here, it's like a flow chart. Um, you know, you've got to complete this part to then go on to this part, etc. Sunday, Ten of Swords. No, Ten, ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Pentacles. 
I'm on a roll, that sorts. Um, success, around home and family life, things are all starting to fall into place. I say home and family life, it doesn't have to be mum, dad, two kids and the dog, I usually say, or two, um, two dogs and the kid, but this is all about the success for the hard work you're putting in right here. And those miracles will still be on track. Love that, brilliant. Okay, so Scorpio, I'm losing my voice. Um, overall, Seven of Pentacles for the week. Clarification. Strength, Ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. It's taken a hell of a lot of strength here to A, keep this hard work going again and again and again, when sometimes it just seems like, as I said, you're not getting anywhere. But this painful cycle, it's taken its own sweet time to actually be able to close that door and to now focus on your dreams, your miracles, creating that magic and getting this new chapter off the ground. But um, patience, I'm not a patient person. May have connection to a Leo with that strength. Sometimes it takes strength to be patient. Monday, the Empress. Five of Pentacles, Princess of Cups, Queen of Swords. I feel like you are picking up some pieces here and starting to move forward to something a lot more warmer, a lot more pleasant, a lot more easier to deal with. The hard work that is starting to pay off at that first stage of the journey. I feel like your gut instinct here um, has been telling you that you have felt like you've been blocked, no explanation at all, or left out in the cold. And now that... Um, you're able to start focusing on moving to something more pleasant. Some very swift action that has been taken here to get some sort of new beginning when it comes to love, maybe the first stages if it's somebody brand new, or maybe for that new chapter if it's an existing relationship here or work or home, but um, that first stages with that Princess of Cups, some very swift action being taken to get things moving in a forward direction there. Tuesday, the Hierophants, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, the world. Divine timing, something is coming full circle here and it may be where you're coming back around to digging your heels in and doing things your way, being able to close this burden off of feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. It has caused a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of um, stress to sneak in here with that nine of swords but now is the moment to close that burden off close that chapter off and to focus on things your way I always sound like i'm lecturing wednesday the moon <laughs> five of swords death high priestess your own energy may have a connection to a scorpio as well um, where you have been banging your head against a brick wall i feel like you have got nothing but one hell of a headache from that um, that moon's giving you that clarity if you walk away from a battle that is your victory but i feel like you're not ready to jump from the frying pan into the fire you are actually quite content to now to sit back observe what's going on around you um, and be able to close some past off and then turn to what this new chapter as you go into the ace of cups what that journey is about to bring love that so thursday ace of cups scorpio three of wands temperance eight of cups Seeing the bigger picture, I always say you may see a situation for what it really is. You may see someone for who they really are, and it may be in a negative way, and it may be in a positive way. But I feel like that bigger picture, being able to see things a lot more clearly, has given you the um, clarity, I was going to say clearly clarity, um, but has given you the clarity to be able to emotionally detach from what it is that has been holding you back here from getting this new chapter off the ground. And now that this new chapter is beginning, that detachment's happening, you are able to just go with the flow. As I said, not jumping from, <laughs> from the frying pan into the fire, <laughs> which I've just lit. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, take two, shuffling. Um, 
the bigger picture is not letting you jump from the frying pan into the fire with the next chapter a um, that's like those repeat patterns but this is all about now just going with the flow wherever that flow may take you I may have connection to Sagittarius I don't know if I said that or not but we will get into Friday Queen of Cups Scorpio Knight of Cups the Wheel of Fortune Ten of Pentacles boom you finish with the Ten of Pentacles, success, bigger and better things. Always say, if you've been through, I'm going to say a shit situation, this is now about moving to bigger and better things, moving to that successful outcome. There is love here, whether you know it yet or not. Very confident the two of you make a good team. You may be offering love to someone. They may be stepping up and offering love to you. But ultimately, this Wheel of Fortune it is starting to turn in your favor and it may be a very welcome change to reach that ultimate success right there that magic is working scarab beetle spirit <coughs> saturday i nearly said sunday that's why i was going S saturday nine of swords scorpio the star that flew out the magician the moon Super energy, three arcanas right there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three arcanas right there. One of them being the moon. The magician is here with that scarab beetle spirit and the star is your miracles that are endless. Brilliant energy right there. May have connection to Aquarius, your dreams, your wishes, your hopes, and not letting things get too over the top and too clouded that moon again giving you the clarity that you need may have connection to a pisces to fit the pieces together to make sure they are fitting together correctly like a jigsaw puzzle um, and not getting out of hand here do you finish sunday scorpio ten of pentacles ace of pentacles queen of pentacles the fall may have connection to an earth sign a lot of pentacles here um taurus virgo capricorn you're ready to take a leap of faith with this new chapter with this new beginning and to make it a very solid beginning the hard work pays off you get your success here but then you can shift the goalpost there's more to come on the next stage of the journey you are ready to take a leap of faith there but you are also able to look back and see how far you've come and be proud of those achievements for the hard work you've put in to get to that stage and now it's just the next chapter is beginning scorpio so let us see what the universe says three of wands nine of cups eight of cups there's that three of wands eight of cups and clarification there on thursday seeing the bigger picture seeing what you are able to emotionally detach from and walk away from that has been holding you back and start to move forward towards that nine of cups the emotional happiness stability joy that is around you right there it's there for the taking I always say take it with both hands and run with it okay so open to spirit oracle bear with me the writing in the book is very small i do read this and i have contact lenses in which are not very clear right anticipate success act with confidence well there's your miracles are endless there's the magic working through you act with confidence and anticipate that successful outcome right there okay positive thoughts and actions propel you towards your goals wishing and hoping for success simply won't do it imagine your success as though you have already achieved it hold that image in your mind and breathe in the feelings that success brings this strengthens your intuition and aligns you with the highest outcomes now work backwards what steps did you take to get there who helped you create a create a plan and begin and you've got these aces throughout as well scorpio so love that reading that is what i have thanks for watching many blessings to you and i will see you all next time see ya bye